This is a very quick follow-up video from the peak design video I did about a month ago. Now, as you can see, I've got, I've got everything here these days. Now, if it says it's out of stock, it's because we're just selling so much of it, but we've got more stock arriving all the time. Now, what I wanted to talk about very quickly is the Creator Kit. Now, we haven't been selling, actually, I don't think we sold any of these yet. So we still got quite a few of these in stock and I've just put an order for more because I'm, I'm about to tell you something and show you something which is pretty cool. Because I didn't think I was ever gonna use this. So I, I had it and I thought, I'm never gonna use that because it hasn't got the vibration damper on there. I thought, well, I'm not gonna need it, am I? However, I was out at the weekend on the bike. I couldn't find my GoPro. My GoPro wasn't ready to quickly put onto my helmet. So what I did do is I went up to my helmet. I've got one of these things, I think it's called DG or something. I, I can't remember what, what, what it's called, but I've got an attachment which clips underneath the, the helmet. And then I've got like a GoPro attachment, which I then have adapted this to fit to it. So that's it there, the creator kit. And then if I go over to my crash helmet up here and I'll show you how it all goes on. That is the creator kit just there. All right. As you can see, I've got this thing here, which clips underneath my Arai crash helmet, but you might have a different attachment for a GoPro. Or, or something similar. And all I've done is I've fitted, so this, this uh, contraption comes like this. Like I said, I can't remember the brand, but it's got the logo DG. I think it stands for design something, but uh, that's how it comes. I've then attached a small little extension piece in here. I can't remember if it came in the actual creator kit or not, but that small piece on there, which is just a small GoPro extension, I've put that on there like that. Screw that on like so. I haven't tightened this one up yet, but then I'm gonna put this onto here like that. Now, I know that when my crash helmet is on, if I have that the vertical as I look on it, I know that that is basically looking forwards. So I'm looking to match the angle, but I wanna see some of my handlebar in it. So around about there is right, but I can adjust all these so I can get it further away. So there we go, tighten those up. And that doesn't look too bad to be fair for a little quick ride out and you haven't got your GoPro ready and you want to record using your mobile phone, this is a great option for you. Now, this hasn't got a vibration damper on there, but you don't need it because you've, we've got our neck, haven't we? And then all we do is slide that in behind. That's it. That is locked into place. That's not going anywhere. Check out the footage I got using this method at the weekend. I'll show you going onto the mount there. I just realized some of you must be shouting at the screen saying I've got that completely in front of my face. It's not, I've just made a further adjustment to it again by pushing that piece down and angling it again. So it's in line with the crash helmet, with the visor. You can see I've still got full movement of my visor. One of the things I noticed when I had this on my, my head yesterday, you, it doesn't, you can't see the screen, but you can just about work out the screen. It's not a distraction from the road at all. You're still looking down the road. It wasn't off-putting whatsoever. When I was doing right and left turns of my head, anything up to around 70 miles an hour is absolutely fine. You'll be fine. It's not blowing it hard at all. Yeah, I was very pleased with it. So I was turning my head on full turns doing you know, reasonable speeds and I wasn't getting any problems with it whatsoever. Like I say, that is a, a really, really good viable option for you. Oh, that was the other thing I was gonna say, is as you're going along, you put it on video mode, you can press the video button with your thumb and um, it'll work and you can still see that button. So like, I had the video button on my right hand. If I turned that around, so press the button at the top to release it. If I turn it around and put it on that way around, well then the button would be on the left hand so I could use it on the left, but obviously the camera comes down lower on the right. Um, but I'm sure you're, you'll get to figure it out. Now, the only thing I need to figure out now is how do I work out if I wanted it in portrait mode? Because obviously the phone's only a certain size. It, to do that, I'd have to start putting lots of different accessories on it and bending it in a certain way to try and get it. So this bit came from the side so you could have it in portrait. But then I think it would come right up over the visor. So I wouldn't bother, but like that in landscape mode, 
it's perfect. And I didn't get any funny looks wearing it either. Right. Oh yeah, I can see, yeah. So if the camera can hear me, because I've got a microphone on. Uh, the phone is not in my field of view. If you're interested in this, link down below straight through to Peak Design, the creator kit. Until next time, stay safe behind bars. See you in the next one.